All right, what's going on everybody? This is Eric Parker with One Number. And in today's video, I want to dive into Google Sheets and I wanna talk about the import HTML function. Really all of the import functions, there's also import XML and there's import data. And I wanna talk about how to get those functions to keep your spreadsheet up to date, whether or not you're accessing this. Um, I use these functions to keep spreadsheets up to date uh, so that I could connect, let's say, a dashboard from Tableau to them, publish it to Tableau Public, have it automatically updating once a day, so I don't have to go back here and do any sort of manual intervention. Um, so first of all, let me just give you kind of a brief rundown of how the import HTML function works. And I'm gonna be using um, some Seattle Mariners 21, uh, 2021 statistics from uh, the Baseball Reference webpage. So, uh, I go to this page here and you'll see that the first proper table of data that's on this page is called the team game by game schedule. And then it just breaks out uh, row by row how the Mariner season's going, who they're playing, wins, losses, runs, all of that. Okay. So uh, let's say that I want to pull this into Google Sheets. So what I've got here in Google Sheets is it says equals import HTML. Then it puts that web page in quotes. I say I'm looking for a table and I want the first table on that web page. Okay, if all that is structured correctly, I hit enter, pulls all this data in. So, you know, you look at this and you can see that uh, today is May 6th that I am making this video and it has last night's game, May 5th updated. So it's got everything I want. Tomorrow is May 7th. That game's not happened yet. So you can see that it's still kind of in preview mode. Perfect. So I was getting driven crazy a couple weeks ago because everything that I read online said that this import HTML just kept your data up to date. What most of the documentation failed to mention is that it will update your data when you log in. Otherwise, it's at some point, it just starts to go off of a cache of the data. So it's not necessarily gonna be up to date. And I was like, that doesn't work for me. I don't wanna have to log into this Google Sheet every day to keep it up to date. So how can I get to stay up to date without my intervention? Let's go around, look at some forums, got to watch a couple of videos on YouTube. And a couple of those I think help point me in the right direction. So um, we need to basically put a timer on this Google Sheet that says, you know, every day or every hour um, update this import HTML function. So where I'm actually gonna go for that is I'm gonna hit the tools drop down, and then select script editor. And you might be thinking like, oh man, this seems super intense. I gotta like write some JavaScript now. I'm just gonna give you the code. <laughs> um, I'll make sure that I can get that to you. If I can put it in the comments here on YouTube, I'll do that. I'll put it in a blog post in case not. Sometimes YouTube's a little bit restrictive about what kinds of characters that it allows. So I'm just gonna copy and paste um, this code that I already know works. And then I'll sort of walk you through how you would customize this for yourself. So um, looking at this, this just says basically the function uh, is get HTML data. And I'm using the uh, Google Sheets app and my sheet name that I'm referencing is SEA. SEA. So if you're gonna be referencing a different worksheet, change that, don't use SEA. And then I'm saying import HTML, you can see this function I just showed you elsewhere. So this says import the HTML from this web page and the table and the first web page. This is it. So let me just, uh, let me give this a name here. I'll just call this my import HTML test. And I'm gonna hit the little save icon, the, uh, the old school floppy disk here. Okay. So now I've got this script, but it's not at all automated yet. So this still isn't doing exactly what we want. So what we're looking for now is this little timer icon here on the left side. They've moved this around a little bit in different versions of Sheets. So um, if you watch some other documentation, it might be somewhere else, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and select that. It's called Triggers. And then in the bottom right corner, I'm gonna select Add Trigger. And then here we go, choose the function, get HTML data, choose which deployment should run, that's fine. Select event source, 
time driven, right? So from spreadsheet, that's the default where you got to log in to keep it updated. So I'm switching that to time driven and I'm going to say, yeah, let's, you know, my data is not that crazy. If it updates every hour, that's fine. So I'm going to say hour timer, select interval every hour. And uh, I guess I could even do, you know, less frequent than that. And I'll save this. I just left the notify me daily of if there's any issues with refreshing, you know, if the HTML changes in the web page or something. All right, so it's doing its save and didn't like it. Uh, oh, because of my pop-up blocker, that's interesting. All right, I'm just gonna let this be allowed. I think I might have to, uh, I think I might have to allow it access to my spreadsheet. So it's like, hey, can I access this with this script? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now I've got this, uh, got my little timer here. And let me just double check this, I think. Yeah, should be good to go. So that is now going to be running. If I ever need to come back here and edit this, I can, but it should be good to go. So let me go back to my editor and I'm just gonna do a, a manual run of this one time hit the run button here, started and finished. Done, easy as that. So go back to import HTML. We've been on this video for a few minutes. There has not been a game that's elapsed in that time. If there had, it would update, uh, but this now should be up to date. And one other thing that I wanna show that I kind of learned the hard way and hopefully this helps you a little bit is if I have multiple pages. So let's say that I just do the same thing again, but I wanna do this for another team. So let's say Oakland, so I'm gonna actually copy the same import HTML script here and just change the reference on the baseball reference webpage from SEA to OAK. So now this is gonna show us Oakland's wins, losses, games, all of that. And uh, if I wanna add a second sheet that needs to be updated with this, if I go back to my import HTML test, I can basically just take everything from, I guess in this uh, lines two through six, I just wanna leave the function, get HTML data in the brackets, leave those as sort of the far outside pieces of this function. But I could put another thing in here that says, hey, this spreadsheet, Oakland or OAK, keep this updated from this web page here, okay? So now it's gonna do the same thing. I'll go ahead and hit run just to test it, make sure I don't get any issues, it says that it's fine. So in some bigger projects that I've done, I've actually created uh, 30 separate tabs, one for each team in baseball, and had them all updating on an hourly basis uh, so that I could have you know, more or less, uh, not quite real time, but pretty close to real time connections. So I could say, hey, how's this team doing? Or who's due for some regression? You know, Whatever the analysis is that I wanted to do. So thanks for sticking along. Hopefully this helps you with your own import functions uh, in Google and keeping them up to date without manual intervention. Um, and I look forward to catching you on another video soon.